Right guys, back to the second fake video series. And on this one, I'm gonna be going over, I'll show you a picture of the Chanel small flap wallet, which I have contained in this dust bag, guys. So if you're interested to see first copy fake of the Chanel flap wallet, I don't know what the technical term is, then keep watching this video. I'm gonna be going over this amazing copy here which is actually really good so guys without further ado let's get into this video right guys so before i get into the topic of this chanel wallet if you haven't subscribed please subscribe please hit the like button hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and share this video of course if you enjoy the video do all of that uh, that'd be great right guys so i'm going over this chanel wallet which on the the site uh, i've had a look at but there's only a few pictures which doesn't help really greatly um it is what it is i have no clue how the dust bag or any of that looks like i don't expect it to look the same as this but it would have been nice to see some pictures so i have to do with uh, what i have so uh, this is how it comes it comes in this uh, chanel dust bag just to cover the wallet and you can see the logo here it was not bad it feels decent uh with this it also comes with this label which gives some i think model numbers and a barcode so if i just bring this yeah hopefully you guys can see it i don't know what to say from the outside i don't really have any pictures or anything to kind of look at in person but yeah it seems okay from the outside um Let's get straight into the wallet, guys. Here's this amazing wallet here. First copy, that's something to note. It is a first copy. And if you've checked Chanel's website, these are very expensive. Chanel generally is a very expensive brand, but this is over 800 pounds for this same wallet, guys. It's ridiculous. I promote uh, brands out there or people out there replicating products it's obviously not good these brands have worked hard uh, to make these products this reputation but the fortunate fact is they're very very expensive and not a lot of people can afford them so i do understand why people look for fakes because the price is one third and the quality is pretty comparable straight away with this one um, what I do notice, the logo here, let me just take this sticker off. Right, I can't tell too much from the picture. If you look at the logo, it looks similar, but this one seems a bit more gold and the real one seems a little bit dull looking at the picture, but, but the picture is really all I have to go by. Also, straight away, I can tell there's a uh, difference in terms of the leather. This is This is nice. I even like the smell of this and I am comfortable with this quality leather. I mean, this look leather, the look, sorry, the look of the one on the picture looks completely different from this one. So if you look carefully, you can see this one looks different compared to that one. It's a different kind of look of the leather. Now that doesn't bother me at all. This still looks great to me, but that's something just to be aware of. It does have that difference there. Um, and the logo, it looks like it's fitted on pretty well. I don't see any issues there. Uh, looks all good there. No issues. Like I said, it smells really nice. I like the smell of this, so that's good. The side of this, there's a slight picture there. The side looks quite similar, but again, the picture isn't great, so I can't give you much of a comparison, but it looks good to me. I'm not seeing too many issues in terms of this quality here. If I turn this around, again, no picture on the website I can utilize here. So you've got the back here, which uh, leather look wise, leather look wise, sorry, it looks the same. And you have a zip, it's still wrapped up because I haven't kind of taken everything off, but yeah, you've got the zip, which moves works very very well no issues and then you have um <clears throat> access to the inside here which is like a a beautiful maroonish color really beautiful 
with a golden zip. Really, really do like the look of this. This picture of the inside, again, not a great picture, it's more like a glimpse, but it gives you some kind of highlight or idea really of how the inside might or is, you know, is looking like. So, so the logo here, I could see straight away from the picture and it looks similar. The logo <laughs> the leather clearly is different if you look the leather on this one uh, the picture obviously that's coming up on the screen it's more plain it looks very plain the leather here obviously it's got like a, a grainy effect this whole wallet has a very grainy effect and if you look at the logo it looks pretty much identical but the color I've got the feeling the real one the color might be slightly different it might be more muted again this is all guesswork <clears throat> If you look at this, looks different, uh, sorry, different. The same, the button. Uh, this one here, it says Chanel Paris here. Right there, if you have a look carefully. Again, I can't tell the color of the hardware is matching to the real one, very close and comparable. Now, if you open the inside, I'm looking at uh, the picture and it looks very, very similar very similar so if you look again that's a glimpse it's not helpful but very similar very very close match they they did say to me this um <clears throat> the person i brought it from the match is 95 percent. so it's very close with very very little differences uh, that's why it's the highest highest first copy you can get um and then yeah if you open it up I could tell you straight away, guys, it's made incredibly well. Incredibly well. I'm just taking a guess if I did hold the real one and this. I think the quality wouldn't be too much of a difference. I feel the leather might be more supple. And this is what I've noticed with another Louis Vuitton one I purchased. I'll do another video for that. The leather might be more supple and less rigid that's something I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a difference in but otherwise it seems like it's both they're both made pretty well I'm I'm gonna be really frank I'm really impressed with this you have to bear in mind the real one is over 800 pounds and you know these prices are fluctuated to crazy levels like all brands have pushed them up they're not actually worth that much it doesn't cost them that much money to make that product it's ridiculous how expensive they are now looking at this i don't again i don't promote fake see my past products they're not fakes it's the first time i come across these but i would definitely sport this and have this and use this i'm amazed this is fantastic it's beautiful 100 percent, i would use this and if i had a choice now to go and buy a real chanel or have this i wouldn't waste my money on the real chanel because this is so good that I'm pretty happy with just owning this. It shows the brand. Again, I know it's wrong to, you know, uh, for these kind of people to make these replicated uh, products. But at the end of the day, like I said, the price, it's just not justifiable. Even if you got the money, it's a lot of money, but I really like this. And I can highly recommend this if you wanted to purchase, but it's far away if you go to uh, Vietnam or China. Vietnam gets them from China anyway. So if you go to China, you can get it probably a little bit cheaper. Guys, if you wanted a second copy of this, uh, it was around 800,000 dongs, which is 27, below 30 pounds. That's, that's how much, you know, 27 pounds. This one was around... I think two million dongs or two and a half million dongs, which is roughly above 65, close to 70 pounds. So think about it. This one, 65, 70 pounds, real one over 800 pounds. Differences, yes, significant, not really looking at it. Um, I, I actually, this is amazing. I would actually keep this one. I know I said amazing thousand times, but I'm very, very impressed with this. If I did have the real one, I know there's gonna be differences in terms of the, the hardware, I can tell straight off the bat. The leather look, I can tell there'll be a difference. Um, and maybe inside there'll be a difference. Um, but otherwise, I think uh, these brands are ripping us off and I'm very happy with this first 
copy, guys. So yes, this will sum it up. Uh, this is the Chanel wallet. Like I said, previous uh, Louis Vuitton video where I discussed the, the crossbody bum bag. The reason I'm doing this is one, to show these fakes and how they look and how they're made and my opinion of how they're made. But also for those that are, you know, really want to get a designer product and they can't afford the real one because it's so significant, it's a worthwhile consideration. However, to get hold of these in England, it's very hard. And if you go to Asia, the ticket is going to cost as much as buying the real product so there's something to also bear in mind yeah that's quite a lot to think about so let's put this back into this uh dust bag i know chanel's dust bag is gonna be much more amazing um but this does the job anyway you know covers well right i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was somewhat useful and yeah, please do tune into my other fake serious videos where I individually go through all the fake items I brought. It's just a bit more do it easier to do it individually because um, otherwise it will be a long video discussing all. So yeah, guys, if you enjoy this content, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell and also share with your friends as it greatly helps me out, guys. Enjoy your weekend. I'm going to enjoy mine and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care and bye.